In this video, we're going to look at the new agent service that's available in PowerShell Universal version 5. The agent service replaces the event hub client and is going to be the point for us to add even more features to agents in your environment. So right now, the PowerShell Universal agent uh, pretty much just connects and allows you to run commands from the PowerShell Universal server on remote machines. We've uh, introduced a new way that you can actually call any um, PowerShell module inside your environment rather than having to define a script within the uh, event client agent itself. So let's look at some examples on how this works. So first of all, uh, in my environment, I actually have uh, two different event hubs um, created here. Uh, one is for Windows and one is for Linux. These can be named anything. I just chose operating systems for this example. Um, and then I've set up two different um, event hub clients um, using the PowerShell Universal Agent. So I have a Windows um, 2019 server here running the PSU agent. Uh, we have an MSI that you can use on Windows that will install this service. And then from there you actually need to connect to um, the PowerShell Universal server. And that's done with an agent.json file. Uh, that's stored in C program data PowerShell Universal by default. And what that looks like is uh, this. So it's just a simple JSON file where you indicate um, the connections that you'd like to create. Uh, you could have one or more connections. In this case, I just have one. And I'm connecting up to um, my local PowerShell Universal service, which is um, listening on Atom Desk 2 5000. And I'm going to connect up to the Windows Hub. So when I make changes to this, I'll have to restart the service, and then uh, if it successfully connects, what you'll see is inside PowerShell Universal, inside this Connections tab, um, we have our Windows machine connected here. Um, if it has a disconnected time, that's just when that service went down um, or that machine restarted. If there's no disconnected time, it's currently connected. Um, in addition to my 2019 server, uh, I also have a Ubuntu server running here. So I have um, this hub, and it's connecting up to my Linux hub. So you can see, again, I'm just running this in the terminal. Um, it's not running as a service. You could set it up with systemd to actually run as a service. In this case, I'm just running it from terminal. And I've connected up to AdamDS2 5000 at the hub Linux. So um, how that looks inside uh, my Linux environment here is in the same um, vein where I had a agent.json on PowerShell or on Windows, I have an agent.json on Linux here. And this is actually stored in um, user share PowerShell universal slash agent.json. The connection information is very similar, except that I'm connecting to a different hub, which is the Linux hub. So now let's look at some examples of running some commands um, against these different environments. So what I'm going to actually do is use a script here to just run some uh, examples against my hubs. Um, so first of all, let's actually go ahead and run a uh, command against my, uh, my Windows um, clients. So when you invoke a command like this, um, what you're actually going to do is um, select a hub that you're going to run against. So currently, uh, there are kind of two different ways to run commands. I'll show both. One is at um, the hub level, which will actually send um, commands to everything connected to that hub. So it kind of fans out. And we have invoke PSU command to do that. So this is just an alias for uh, send PSU event, um, which was a commandlet in version 4. And we've added this alias to kind of line up with uh, kind of PowerShell syntax because it has invoke command. So the idea here is that we can pass a command name. So in this case, I'm um, passing out file and I'm specifying um, some parameters. So the file path and the input object. So I'm going to write the, the string hello world out to this test file on the de desktop. So let's save that, run this script. Uh, it was successful. We didn't really see any response because that commandlet doesn't return anything. And if we actually go to our Windows machine here and look at the desktop, I close all my windows. Uh, you can see test uh, that text was created and it contains hello world. So we successfully pretty much sent an event from PowerShell Universal to this connected client that's running the PowerShell Universal agent. Um, similarly, we can do the same thing on Linux. Now I've updated my script to uh, target the Linux event hub. And you can see I just changed the hub name to Linux. So it's going to send to all connected clients. And what I'm going to do is send um, the file path to home, 
Ubuntu desktop and test.txt, and we will write the um, string hello world. So if we run that, you'll see we have a successful job. And now if we go back to our Ubuntu instance, you'll see it created this text file um, on my desktop um, with that string in it. So as you can see, it's just calling arbitrary commands on these uh, machines, kind of like you could with invoke command over WinRM, but this is just using a WebSocket connection from PowerShell Universal to these um, PowerShell Universal agents. In addition to being able to send commands to um, remote machines, you can also receive data back from um, these agents. So uh, currently, the only way to do that is actually with um, specific connection IDs. So if you send a um, command to a hub and it fans out, it's not going to return any data at the moment. We are looking at improving this uh, further, so you can do that. But what we're going to actually do in this example is call a specific connection and then return some information back from that connected client. So I'll just save this and kind of talk through what this script does. So first of all, we call get uh, PSU event hub connection. And what that does is it returns all connected um, events, um, hub connections on this machine. Uh, and then from there, we're going to select the event hub where it's uh, the Windows event hub. And then we're going to check to see if that is not disconnected. So we're just looking for connected um, event hub connections. And then for each one of those, we're going to actually send um, a command down to that connection. So we specify the connection ID, which is uh, returned by PSU event hub connection. Then we're going to specify the hub that we want to use and the command we want to run. So in this case, I'm running get computer info, which is going to return information from that remote machine via that command line. So let's just run that script. So now this is going out to my Windows machine, and it's actually returning um, all the information about that computer. And you can see this is that Windows Server 2019 machine. It's going to have all kinds of information about the operating system uh, returned from get um, computer info. So in this video, we looked at some of the new and improved um, PowerShell Universal agent functionality, um, including sending uh, arbitrary commands to the agent and returning data um, from any operating system that can run PowerShell Universal.